we are all products of this subsector. We went to school with the coffee proceeds. In the late 70s, when we were young boys, and the early 80s, when we were in high school, when we were admitted to a high school, the headmaster would interview your parent to ascertain whether you would be a problem in terms of making paying school fees or not. And the headmaster would ask one question. Do you have coffee? Once you said yes, you would be admitted to the school without any further question. Because a membership number of a cooperative society was much more credible than a banker's check today. Because coffee had returns. And it is working. It was working. We saw it work. We went to school through coffee proceeds, and today we are here. If it worked then, it must work now. And that is why we are here. Good people. History will judge you kindly. If from this conference you come up with practical and pragmatic suggestions on what we need to do to restore the coffee subsector and put money in the pocket of the coffee farm. Honorable Moses Kuria and Chelwui, once you do what you must do, market our coffee at good prices and the farmers get a commensurate return, production will be increased automatically without any further effort. That is the truth. The whole of this equation, the whole of all this trouble in the coffee subsector will be resolved by marketing and getting the right prices and removing the middlemen between the farmer and the consumer. Once that is done as a country, we are sorted. Coffee used to be number one foreign exchange earner for this country. Today, I think we are poor faith. Once we get the prices right, once we remove the middlemen, which we must remove, once the farmer is empowered in a commensurate manner, coffee production will go up, the prices will be good, we'll export the coffee across the world, we'll get sufficient foreign exchange earnings, and our economy is sorted. So this coffee conference will not only just sort out the coffee farmer, but will sort out the greater Kenyan economy. Therefore, I have a few things that I want you to look into. And when the president asked me to do this work, he asked me to do it for three reasons. One, he gave a commitment to the people of Kenya that will sort out the Kenyan farmer. And he needed it sorted out. He asked me to coordinate the various ministries. Because one, I am passionate about coffee because I'm a product of coffee earnings. So this for me is personal. Other than being deputy president, it's personal for me. Because I saw it work. And if it worked then, it will work. The president also asked me to do it because he knows me. One, I have zero interest in the subsector. Number two, I am incorruptible. Nobody can offer me anything in this world to remove me from the path of coffee reforms to get money into the pockets of the farmers. So I want to tell all those people who have been eating money from the farmers, the cartels, the middlemen, your time is up. Your time is up. You must give way and align with us or we get you out. 
you must agree that is not business as the issue. This administration of William Ruto is the administration that will sort out the issues of coffee cartels, tea cartels, new cartels, and restore the dignity of the Kenyan farmer. And I want to say in broad daylight, I've seen all the cameras are here, I want to make an announcement to all those people who have been living on the sweat of the coffee farmers that what you have gotten is enough and is sufficient. You can invest it elsewhere. Going further, you must get just what is due to you. A little percentage, 90-95% must go to the coffee farm. We don't want to get you out of the way. We want us to work together. I want this conference to consider radical reforms in the coffee exchange, which has been a ping pong game among the very players. You, I want you to look at it. And why we have members of the National Assembly is here. We have the members of the Senate. We have the county governors here is that whatever recommendations you come up with will have a legislative proposal to anchor them in law. Then President William Ruto and I and these three good ministers will do everything possible to implement those reforms to the letter for the benefit of the farmer. I want you to look at the issues surrounding the Coffee Board of Kenya because when Coffee Board of Kenya was there, things were working. When this subsector and others were all grouped together, they were not able to be accorded sufficient uh, attention. And along the way, we got in trouble. I want to ask this conference to look at the Coffee Research Institute. What was in Royal called the Coffee Research Foundation then, today is a pale shadow of his former self. And that is one of the areas the rain began beating us. Research is important. We must come up with recommendations. When we are looking at the coffee says, what percentage will go to support the Coffee Research Institute so that it can be our institution of first visit to get the quality of our seedlings right to deal with the issue of coffee berry diseases to deal with the various challenges around coffee farming i want to request you to consider proposing to these members of parliament on how to streamline marketing as it is today is unacceptable that the very people who are marketing are also mailers they are also roasters it can't work. That is how the coffee farmer has been exploited. We know they register different companies, but they are the same people. And they are the same people who sit at the coffee exchange. They are the marketers, they are the millers, they are the sellers, they are the buyers. We are the And they are the brokers. That will be sorted out in them. And why did I choose them? Meru is the land of the brave and the courageous. Yes. Difficult decisions will be made here. They'll hurt a few people, but the majority will be happy. And we are sorry for the few people who will be hurt along the way. Lakini lazima mkulima apata yaki yake. So watu watano kumi wakiumia kidogo, marupupu yao itungue, hakuna asara tutayenda kubwa. We want you to discuss the coffee cherry fund, CS cherry, that fund 